an educator, that's what I've always done. I do work the rim, I'm not there for my workout. If you don't make people relax, they do not learn. I never want someone to come to my class and feel that they could have left and nobody knew that they were there. self-defense, lots of things, all various things related to health and fitness. You ready to go? Yes. Just about? <laughs> yes. No. 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 Never ready. I know it's cold. I came to fitness really, really late in my life. I was one of those kids when I was younger that was really bad at sport and I used to dodge games. I was never very good at it. I couldn't throw, I couldn't catch, I wouldn't run very fast. Uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, we want you at a 5 or 6, please. Don't go all out for a 10, that's later. Then in my early 30s, I thought running was the thing for me to do. And change. And I think it was only a few months after that that I suddenly got very, very ill. I had a virus that had caused chronic fatigue syndrome. That really knocked me sideways for several years. Back to an old favourite to start with. No, it's not spinal roll stand-ups. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> so, deep breath in. Hinge from the hips, abs in. You're going to walk it all the way out to a plank. Those of you who want the press up, will take the press up. Walk it back in. Jump or not. If you're modifying, don't jump. Don't do the press up. After I broke up with a, a boyfriend who'd been very keen on martial arts, I remembered a leaflet that had come through the door ages ago for a dojo just around the corner from where I was living. And I thought, God damn it, I'm going to go and have a go. And suddenly I was going twice a week and then three times a week. And then I met another group of martial artists in mixed martial arts, MMA. I was doing the combat conditioning twice a week. So suddenly I'd gone from being really unwell and, and hardly able to do anything to my fitness level going through the roof. Out, in, start jump, okay? And left my very long-term job, 14 years at the University of Bristol working in um, education and professional development to go on my own. You're gonna use the forearm and the hammer fist, whichever combination you like. I made the decision thanks to my clients who encouraged me to do the fitness instruction and personal training course and they said it they said if you do it we will come and they have. My clients are so dedicated I'm very lucky not to work with people who just phone in sick at the drop of a hat or they turn up to the class and they're not giving a hundred percent. Everybody works so hard but so many of them come with stuff whether it's an injury, uh, it's a medical condition that they have to constantly work around, or they will confide that there's personal things going on. They've made it to class. Whatever you do when you're here is going to be an achievement over deciding to, to stay at home. Going it alone with the business was the most terrifying thing that I've done, I thought I was ready. You know, I'd read all the stuff about being an entrepreneur and they always say, oh, it's harder than you think it's gonna be. And it really is harder than you think it's going to be. You're never prepared for how difficult it is. I don't see my friends anywhere near as much as I used to. My family have got used to the fact that I can't just drop everything and go away because I teach all the time. I work six or seven days a week. So my goals are a bit more modest. Working with my trainer, we're really looking at increasing my overall strength next year, increasing what I can deadlift, squat. I saw an amazing photo of Bruce Lee doing a move called a dragon flag, which is a ridiculously strong abdominal hold, and that's one of the things that I'm working towards. We'll see, I'm absolutely rubbish at it. At the moment, I've just recently revisited the Argentine tango after five years of not doing it. So I had a private lesson with my teacher and it all came back, which was really exciting. It's nice to mix things up a little bit. I think that's my goal at the moment, is just keep it varied. Because the body likes to be challenged and I get bored. I'm going to 
easily bored. I like variety. I like everyday being different. So at the moment, yeah, it's weight training, a bit of bit kickboxing, a bit of dancing. It's pretty good. My overall goal is to create a society change. So everything I kind of do, my personal adventures, my charitable things, my businesses, everything I do is about creating that change and inspiring people and helping people to get outside more.